uh, churches were closed. A friend of mine did a research and counted more than 30 churches that were closed when Israel was created. If, if you wake up in the morning and decide that your Christian faith requires you to support a foreign government blowing up churches and killing Christians, I, I think you've lost the thread. It, it, just to, to end on this, if you had a message for Christian leaders in the United States, whether in government or in churches or just citizens who care about the religion and their fellow Christians, what would it be? It would be to remind them that when the state of Israel was created, it was not created on an empty land. It was created on a land that had uh, millions of indigenous Palestinians there, including Palestinian Christians. And that that state they support, uh, that state they celebrated as a fulfillment of prophecy and a sign of God's state to the Jewish people for it to become a state. Uh, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians, including Palestinian Christians, uh, were forced to leave and have never returned. Uh, churches were closed. A friend of mine did a research and counted more than 30 churches that were closed when Israel was created because Palestinians uh, were expelled from uh, the land. Our numbers continue to be in decline. Uh, so we're pleading that uh, uh, come and listen, come and talk to us. And my message to Christian leaders right now is there is a very, very brutal war taking place in Gaza, a war that I described using the word genocide, because it's a war that has used even starvation as a mean, and fellow Christians are suffering because of that war. Uh, it's time that uh, Christian leaders uh, recognize that wars is not the way, whether in Iraq and Afghanistan and Libya, and I mean, when will we learn that war does not help? When will we take Jesus' words seriously uh, about being peacemakers, about being merciful? Merciful. There must be uh, other ways. Uh, and so it would be an invitation to listen, to learn more, uh, and to avoid very shallow and simpli simplistic perspectives that are not based on scripture itself, but more based on uh, political uh, equations. Um, and I would plea right now, and I will continue to plea that we need to stop this war in Gaza. Uh, it's killing many, many children, women, innocent lives. It has to stop. There must be uh, other ways. And as a follower of Christ, uh, we have to pursue the path of peace uh, and justice, and we have to avoid simplistic uh, polarizations, good and evil, come and listen, come and understand what's happening. And I plead as a Christian pastor from Bethlehem, I plead that you come uh, and listen. Father, thank you for your thoroughly decent and sensible analysis, and I hope it's heard by Christians throughout the West. I appreciate it.